Creed 3. Adonis has now officially hit Cloud 9. His career and family life are exactly where they need to be. Until childhood friend Damien comes back to unearth a past Adonis has since buried. So, Creed 3 shocked me for two reasons. One, it's the ninth film across 45 years, and it's still not stale yet. And two, after Creed 2, like everyone else, I said, no more Creed, thank you very much. Adonis has reached the end of his arc, and it's getting too formulaic now. We are done. Well, I and everyone else who said that was wrong. Yes, Creed 3 is very formulaic, but there is enough here to freshen it up. The last two Creed films were about Adonis fighting against and fighting for the legacies of Rocky and his father. But this one is 100% Adonis' story. The torch has officially been passed down to him, this is his own movie. As a result, the absence of the Rocky character surprisingly worked well. Don't get me wrong, I'm an avid fan of Sly and the Rocky character, but... Come on, this film worked so much better without him. This is 100% Adonis' story, we don't need Rocky. Adonis' family life is just wonderful, not only is it charming, but due to the deaf daughter, the family mostly speak in sign language, and it completely normalizes it. It breathes new life into the whole family dynamic, and I haven't seen this being tackled with such charm before. And seeing how their big mansion is designed for deaf people surprised me. Me not being deaf, I didn't know most of these designs or devices even existed. The only downside for all of this was the way Adonis felt the need to teach his daughter to fight. For me, that didn't really go anywhere. But once you get past that, you get to Damien, played by Jonathan Majors. I have heard that Majors has been making some waves with the recent Ant-Man film, but me seriously suffering from Marvel fatigue. <laughs> I'm not interested in watching that film anytime soon. Either way, if you tell me he's great in it, I'll believe you. Because he was fucking fantastic here. Not only is he physically imposing, Jesus Christ he's a beast. But his character is incredibly layered. He is one of the best villains in Rocky history for me. He's a complete underdog who's probably faced more shit than Adonis has grown up. His entire life has been humble, and yet his mindset is anything but. He's hurt traumatized and willing to play dirty in order to get whatever he needs. And I understood Damien. In fact, at times, I actually felt this could have been his own story. He was almost the protagonist at points. And for me, that was Creed's biggest issue. I didn't get enough of Damien. Like, let's face facts, he's been in prison for 18 years, he comes out, enters the big leagues, and I'm wondering, like, what the fuck was that like for him? Like, how could he not be suffering from sensory overload? Like, the script just didn't put enough focus on Damien's life, and sadly, put too much focus on Adonis's life. For example, the first fight scene is a rematch between Adonis and Tony Bellow's character from the first Creed film. There was no need for this to be there, and it's like he was the main villain in Creed 1, and now he's dismissed like he's nothing? Plus, Adonis's mother... Okay, there's some great acting there, but this B-plot was kind of unnecessary to me. I didn't really feel much during these scenes. And no spoilers, but Adonis does find out some details were hidden from him. And during that beach scene, I was kind of expecting him to say to Damien, Yo, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know this whole time. But once you get past that, you get to a final fight scene that is just powerful. There are some wonderful techniques used here, which I don't want to spoil. And you can tell that these two characters are seriously affected by the past as they're beating the piss out of each other. It was cathartic as well as painful. So in the end, Creed 3 is satisfying, and I'm surprised we're still getting decent Rocky flicks all this time later. It looks great, it's acted great, the action scenes are fantastic, it's quite touching, and the Damien character does spice up the formula a bit. Don't go into this expecting to get something completely different, but if you are a Rocky fan, you need to watch this film. It's so solid. I'm going to give Creed 3 a 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay jiggy. The better appreciate you. <laughs>